this video is to um, help you understand some of the content in Chapter 2, which is the Relational Model 1, Introduction, QBE, and Relational Algebra. So I have open on my screen the Henry Books database, and um, I opened it straight from my desktop, and you can see that the first thing I'm going to have to do is enable content, and that will give me access to everything that is here in my database. Um, the first thing that I want you to understand about access in databases is that when we use access um, to ask a question about a database, that question is called a query. And a query is just a question that's represented in a way that the database management system can recognize and process. So we're going to do a couple simple sample queries um, so you can see how these work. And this is also what you're going to be doing for your homework. So in Access, when you create queries, you can do that using the query window. And the query window is going to have two panes. Before I start that, though, just take a look at the left side, and you can see that this database, which is the same one that you have um, linked for you in this week's assignment, already has several objects created. So your objects are displayed over here in your object pane. There are several tables that I can display by double-clicking to have them open up. There are a couple queries that are already created for you. There are several forms that have already been created. And then there are also several reports. But what we're going to be doing um, in this chapter is we're going to create some new queries. So to get to the query window, I'm going to click Create. And then I can either choose Query Wizard or Query Design. Query Wizard is going to take me through a step-by-step -step process to create my query, whereas Query Design, as you can probably go on, um, already guess is going to open up a blank query in design view so I can kind of um, manually put that together. So I'm just going to click query design and you can see that this does switch me over to design view and I have lots of a blank workspace here to work with and I have um, my show table dialog box here. So in my workspace, the upper portion is going to contain um, a field list for each table that we want to query. I don't see a field list yet because I haven't picked the table that I want to query. Um, but if I add one of my tables, so I'll just go ahead and choose Publisher and click Add. Now you can see a field list of all the fields that are in the Publisher table. And then the lower pane is where our design grid is. And this is the area where we can specify the format of our output and the fields that are going to be included in our query results. Um, we can also sort and filter here. So if I want to include a field from my table, in this case the publisher table, in my query, then all I have to do is double click that field. Let me close that first. And you can see that when I double click city, it automatically puts city down here in my design grid. That is the field, and it's pulling the city field from the publisher table. So if I run this query right now, which I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click run, you can see that the only thing that's showing here is the city. And I didn't tell it to sort or filter in any way. It's only showing the city. So if I switch back to design view, I could tell it to show me the city in ascending order. So now when I run it, you can see that the cities are um, shown to me in ascending order. And of course, this isn't a very helpful query. It just shows me a list of cities. So I'd probably be asking for some other information if I um, you know, was actually doing this one. So let's say, for example, in our Henry Books database, we want to create a query that is going to show us the name of each publisher that is not located in New York. So again, we are going to show the name of each publisher that's not located in New York. So, of course, if it's asking us for the name of the publisher, I'm going to show the table again here. 
then the table that we want to work from is pub probably publisher. So I'm going to add that and then I can close the show table dialog box. So if I'm going to show the name of publishers that are not located in New York, then I'm going to need two things probably. I'm going to need the um, publisher name. So I'm going to double click to add that to my query. And then I'm also going to need the city because I know that I want the ones that are not New York. So I've added both of those fields to my design grid. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the check mark from um, city because the question didn't ask me to show what cities they're located in. It just says to list the name of the publishers. So even though I need this information, I don't have to show it on my query. So once we have added both fields that we need to our design grid and we have unchecked to show um, the f city field, the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we're not going to see publishers that are in New York. So to do that, we're going to go to the criteria row for the city column and we're just going to type less than and then the greater than sign to show that we want something that's not in New York. So now when we click run we get a listing of publishers that are not located in New York. Now if I go back to my design view and I'm just going to check this just to show you that if I show the city you can see that none of these are located in New York. So for what you're going to do for your homework assignment is you're going to create each of those queries and once you create each one you can just right click the tab for it and choose save and then it will save it here in your objects list under queries. So let me go back to that query one which is what it called it by default and since that is number one it's fine just to leave it as query one. Just make sure that query one is number one, query two is number two and so on. Now if you do not want to actually do it in access then instead of doing it in access you can open up a Word document and on that Word document you could type in for me the directions for creating that, um, that query. So you, for number one you might type add the publisher table to the query design window add publisher name and city fields to the design group, um, grid and you would continue typing the rest of the directions. Remove the check mark from show and city, type less than greater than New York, click run. Um, to me it's easier just to go ahead and do it in access instead of trying to type out um, the explanations but either option works for me. And then what you're going to do is you're going to save either your Word document or save your access database and then submit that to me in Blackboard. I'm sorry for the length of this video, but I hope that helps explain a little bit about what you're going to do this week.